Hi, I'm Tyler from Tyler Tech and my hard drive went dead about a week ago in my laptop and I've been trying to fix it since then, but I just realized I have this old one from my sister's old computer that I might as well try and replace it with. So let's get into the video on seeing if I can actually fix my computer with an old hard drive. Alright, so this is the old hard drive from my sister's computer. I'm going to set this hard drive aside for now. And let's get inside of this computer to switch out the hard drive. Alright, so we now have all the screws out, and I want to say that if you're going to do this yourself, you're going to want to make sure that you actually hold, are able to tell the difference between your screws. For example, there were two different kinds in my laptop. The shorter one was everywhere, and there's only one of these longer ones, so just make sure you know where all these screws belong. So I'm going to set the back panel to the side and this is the inside of my computer. Let me get that. Alright, so this is the hard drive that I want to take out because it's messed up. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to get the right type of head on my screwdriver and then I'm going to unplug it before I do anything with it. Alright, so now there's one, two, three, four, I think like five screws, or five or six screws that I have to use to actually get this out, then we'll be ready to switch it out with this hard drive. Alright, so so far this is a successful mission. I've just pulled the hard drive out of the little casing on it. So, now that we have this hard drive out of my computer, and let's... Alright, I just want to do this for myself. I don't even know what brand this is. I think it was a Hitachi hard drive. Let's just remember, for my reference, in case I need to watch this video, this is from the old... This is the old hard drive in this computer. Alright, so I'm going to set that down. Put the computer itself aside for now, and let's grab the old hard drive. All right, so there. So what you can tell is when I was, these look different, and the main reason for that is because this one is still in the case that was inside the computer. Because the way my sister's computer worked, this little plastic tab. You just pulled it up and out and it slid out. So I have to take this casing off. So now we have this ready where it can just come out. And we, right here, we have two hard drives. Right. There may be one slight issue, but I I think we can work around it. Alright, so the one from my sister's computer. Alright, it looks like it's a different size. So let's just check this out real quick. Three millimeter is difference, but it should still work because I think this will still fit in that computer. So we're going to try and stick it in anyway. I would really recommend trying to get hard drives that are the same size. But in my case, I have been figuring, trying to figure this out, so I'm just going to go ahead and see if this even works. 
so let me just get the old stuff back in the bag. Alright, so, installation time. Alright, so I want to make a suggestion just while I'm doing this because I found out I was doing something wrong. I found out that the way I put it in, I wouldn't be able to plug it in, so I had to flip it over. So you might want to actually plug it in before you install it. Just so that you know you have it going the right way. So now it is time to, there, it's all in. Now, let's just put the case back on, turn the computer on, and see if it even works. All right, so now that it's all back together, let's test to see if it works. Three. Two, one. Boot device not. Alright, so we need an operating system on the hard disk. Which is good. Wait, F2 for system diagnostics. Alright. Starting memory test. I don't want the memory test. Alright. So let's get into. Alright, All right. here, so we're going to configure it, the, the boot options, alright, USB diskette, alright, so we're going to exit and save changes, and it should restart to my Windows 10 boot device. So that boot device isn't wanting to boot. So I have this old hard, hard drive that came from HP and it has Windows 8 loaded on it. So I'm going to try and boot to that now. Alright, so I'm gonna let this go through and I'll start the camera back up whenever I see if this actually worked. So after that last clip I decided to call it a night and just let the computer go till morning. And I, then I tried reinstalling Windows off camera when I woke up. It had helped that school was cancelled today because that process took a while. So after Windows installed and it downloaded all the HP drivers and the software, I had to go through the Windows 8 installation process. So I took a few minutes laughing at the four-year-old software and the fact that Microsoft didn't have the start button in there and the old start menu and all that from Windows 8 that everyone hated. Um, so then I decided to just reinstall Windows 10 after that. And the computer is still reinstalling Windows 10 right now. Thank you for sticking around to see if my computer ended up working. It does, I just need to get uh, Windows 10 on it and it should be good to go. 
So now that my uh, old computer is working, I might look into some hard drive recovery for that old hard drive that was inside of it. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Tyler Tech if you want some more videos like this.